What's up guys, it's Danny Filicotti and today I'm gonna share three drone tips for better photo and videos on your drone. And um, yeah, I'm where I crashed my drone, so clearly my advice is uh, super ace. Crash right over there. My first tip is about the gimbal. Uh, when I first got my drone, when you arc the gimbal up and down, it kind of uh, veers really quickly. I found that really annoying, especially how sensitive the button was. But uh, actually, inside the menu, there's an option to change the sensitivity. So yeah, after changing that setting, you can kind of change how sensitive the gimbal is. So uh, no longer it would be flailing all about when you're recording. So my second tip is while you're actually flying. Um, I see a lot of people in their footage tilt the drone too quickly. You really want to keep it smooth, keep it simple, do straight on shots or just sideways. It, every time you rotate or turn, it kind of just takes you out of the moment. And then my third tip is, if you're familiar with camera settings, I highly recommend using manual camera settings. It takes a couple seconds to figure out when you're uh, at a new location, but the footage will just look so much better. You won't have any more flickering. You won't have, when you go into the woods, it's, it's brightens up and then you go back out and it turns dark again and like just it looks really unprofessional if you have it on automatic settings so I actually have a few bonus tips for you one is the app the app air map so basically it just shows all the legalities of where you can fly and you know the rules of flying and I think this helps finding spots especially for me living in DC there's kind of like a really hard way to find where to fly like this, this spot it specifically is exactly in an area where it says it's okay so that's what I'm gonna go by, but it actually shows you all the five mile ranges of all the airports, all the helipads, the no fly zones. Um, yeah, so then when you get there, you can uh, actually fly and not be surprised that you can't fly at the specific spot. And just one last tip, um, this is for people who have the Mavic Pro. I don't think a lot of people realize this, but hidden in the settings, there's a portrait mode, uh, not like your iPhone, but you can actually get por portrait orientation while shooting. This is huge for Instagram stories or if you just wanna do a vertical video, I pretty much take all of my photos vertically for my Instagram when I'm using my Mavic. So uh, yeah, you just go into the settings and you'll see there's a portrait orientation option. It'll actually flip the camera sideways. It's actually one of the only drones I think that does this. So if you have a Mavic Pro, I definitely recommend taking advantage of that. I really don't know why I picked a place covered in trees to talk about drones, because I can't fly here to film some examples for you. <laughs> so yeah, there are some tips uh, for you for better flying, to get better videos and photos. I. Uh, Hope they help you out, and uh, as always, stay flying. Okay, I think I'm actually stuck in here, so uh, this video will never be published.